this is Michelle Blub with another exciting positive topic for you today. Today we're going to speak about looking at the energy of someone before we make a decision to go into a romantic relationship with them. Now as you know everything is made of energy. Thought is energy. Everyone has around them an atmosphere or aura of thought energy. Now when we are oscillating at a certain, fre certain frequency we can be in absolute synergy with someone and when we're in synergy with someone energetically amazing miraculous things can happen. You know what it's like when you first fall in love, when you first think you're in love, you know you have so much energy, you know if someone calls you and they say at five o'clock that afternoon and you've been running 20 miles and you were exhausted and you're just about to sit down and have a rest. Hey, would you like to go and have a cup of coffee? You're there in five minutes. Okay, for the girls it'll be 15 minutes. We want to put on our lipstick. That proves that love instills in us this high energy. However, why is it that after a few months or maybe even a few weeks of dating that person that originally gave you all this energy that you start feeling deflated? Okay, a lot of it can do with how you originally had an ideal of what you wanted in a romantic partner. Okay, let's not get into that topic now. Let's just talk about energy. When you are in synergy with the right oscillation with someone, well then magic can, can happen and that will affect every other area of your life including your success in your business and in, in your health and everything. If you're with the right energetic synergy, that oscillation with someone, so I am always saying let me find no matter who it is in my life, romantic partner or someone I'm going to work with, play with, whatever it is, are they oscillating at a frequency similar to mine or at a higher or faster frequency? Then you want to hang out. How do you know? Look at how you feel an hour after you've been with the person, that night, maybe the next day, I mean not when you're with them, after you've left that person. Do you still feel alive and energized? I Do you look feel good about yourself when you're with them or are you always if you're always worrying about how you look you know do I look pretty enough do I look handsome enough if I got this well then that person is not probably not energetically oscillating with you at a right frequency because when you're with someone who is coming from a place of a high oscillation of energy you don't feel bad about yourself it wouldn't matter if you had makeup on no makeup shaved or not shaved you're going to feel good about yourself after you've been with them you're not going to feel oh I didn't feel like I looked good enough they're putting that thought into you through them wanting their ideal so that's one good point to look at but basically the idea of this is that you really look within and see how you feel after you're with someone because the energy of someone that you're with can either keep you on a, a path of just not going anywhere much or take you on a path that's not your path or lead you on a stronger path that is your correct path can actually help you and support you in ways that will just absolutely blow your mind. So before you guys, particularly you girls I should say, jump into bed with someone or into the romantic pool, please think about that. Feel the energy because it will make all the difference to your whole life. It'll keep you backwards or it'll keep you going forward into the light where there is more love and more power and more joy where you won't make love anymore. You will make light. I am strong.